Hello and welcome to Rustic Waters 2. We are uh, going to continue from where we were. We were uh, working on crate crafting last episode and uh, uh, we were trying to get the blast furnace going. Uh, I went ahead and made a blast furnace so I could get prepared for this episode and the steel. And let me go over that right now. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of little bit of things have changed. <laughs> so uh, I was trying to get this mixing uh, this mixer to actually work. I was trying to use the windmill power and I couldn't get it to work. Uh, then I was like, let me try out this furnace they made us make, right? This furnace engine. And lo and behold, after a little bit of uh, uh, manipulation here, right? We got that. It goes into a, uh, uh, just a, what is that? A mechanical belt. That's all it is. And it goes into a vertical gearbox, bringing it up. Uh, and then I have uh, a big one going into a little one, which is like uh, on one of these pages here, I think the foundation uh, on the cogs, right? So it's a 2x faster, right? And uh, so we, we're getting the speed. We needed, uh, I think it was 128 RPM, and I could only get uh, 96 RPM no matter what I tried over there on that thing. So eventually I was able to get it and I went ahead and made the rest of the uh, blast blocks I think we had manually made uh, one or two of them so we got that done uh then I, I went ahead and uh, made that contraption right uh which is this one right here the crude blast furnace I went ahead and made one uh mostly because I wanted steel because we need a lot of steel for this uh upcoming stuff and I wanted to have that all prepped up uh, then I threw some automation over here on uh, this uh, Coke oven. I just have a hopper with charcoal going in. Uh, charcoal processes it becomes uh, the coal Coke. I have it go ahead and pull that out. And I think we're about to hit the cap on uh, uh, oil. Uh, this is the best tank I have at the moment. It holds 64 buckets. I just take it and uh, go put it in a box over there and replace it with a new one. But uh, just kind of speed that process up. Uh, for automation's sake, um, but yeah, so I got that. And then uh, when we were making this whole flywheel thing in that part of the quest line, it had us make an alternator and an LV capacitor. Uh, at first, I was like, well, hi, "This alternator, what am, what am I going to do with that?" That's how we're going to get power. Actually, <laughs> this gives us our first bit of power, and it uh, kind of charges. I've already charged up a few of these capacitors for uh, for later on. Uh, let's see here, da, da, da. Uh, where are they at? Here they are. Uh, I charged up t two or three of them. They're somewhere in this uh, mess of stuff, but uh, a sim simply what you do, by default, you just put uh, the input on the capacitors is on the top, so you just drop it down. It fills it up. If you use the engineering hammer on these things, they uh, you can change the inputs and outputs on each side, and you can attach them all around, and eventually it'll power up. Uh, I'm just using a simple, uh, a simple furnace here to do this. Uh, I'm doing wood to generate more charcoal. I have the charcoal that is being made go, uh, go out. It goes into my little uh, collection system here along with everything else. And, uh, I just have pretty much a large amount of charcoal, <laughs> which then I'm going to turn back into more charcoal, uh, over and over again. Uh, using more wood because we I have uh, I think six of these now yeah six of these uh, strainers they're all out of meshes uh, I have those going pretty much non-stop which uh, produce a lot of uh, wood and uh, a lot of the other materials we need so it's just a matter of uh, doing that that's kind of like the, the basics of all this right so we just gotta get all these back on here real quick before I forget these have uh 700 charges they last for quite a while uh quite a while indeed and then i went ahead and made some fruit punch uh it's two apples plus sugar and you get a little bit more food out of it uh kind of lasts a little longer uh and then i also figured out why this wasn't working uh if we go to the mechanical crafter right so remember i kept having to change uh the layout every time uh, turns out you can put redstone signal on here. Uh, it's like page. Yeah. 
You can use slot covers. And you can also use, uh, yeah, like that one, slot cover. You can also do a redstone signal. I think this is the one. No, that's not it. Where is it at? Redstone signal. Yeah, somewhere around here, there's one for redstone signal. So I put a button on here, and hopefully that will force it to go and start crafting, even though it is not in the uh, proper layout, but this uh, four, 4x4 seems to be the largest we'll need. Uh, so I got that going. Uh, that's all the same. And I set up the uh, crushing wheel here. Uh, there's no quest for it, but... I just took the rotational power off my uh, sluices, Put them on a uh, conveyor belt to kind of get that rotating so I could rotate this other conveyor belt up. And then some drive shafts and then I use a, uh, a gearbox here to flip the rotation on uh, this one right here. And that works out pretty well. Um, I think I can put a piece of steel in there, right? Let's just do one. Let's see. But I, I kind of did like this because it kind of looks cool. <laughs> just watching the items go up. I don't know if this will actually grind down to dust or not, but... Uh, Items go in, grinds them down. Uh, it's not a part of the quest line, but it's required for moving forward. And uh, yeah, that's that. So we're, we're uh, we have steel. I got that done, and now we have a few of these to go. We can't do uh, the blaze burner yet, so that's kind of where this this part here is gonna stop. So we'll make this empty blaze burner. Uh, we're gonna have to go find a uh, what are these called? Uh, a blaze, another temple, I think. So what it's called in here. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but, uh, I thought that's what I saw it was called. Yeah, another temple, there it is. And we have to make stuff for the next, the next one, subnautical, before we can even do that. So, let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, we're gonna make the empty blaze burner. Uh, then we're gonna make a tool handle. Uh, we can't make the prismarine hammer, because I don't know how to get prismarine. I think we have to go down to the surface and get some. Uh, but we're going to make uh, some of this uh, factory dots. I don't know what that is. Uh, we're going to make some tank valves to make some ma these massive tanks, right? This store massive amounts of fluids. Uh, so that'll be good. And then we're going to make this storage system here. I don't know how it works, but we're going we're gonna to try it and see. <laughs> uh, it looks like it's kind of like how uh, simple storage is, but it lacks the crafting aspects. I don't know if you can insert items in here, but it might make it easier for us to pull items out of my uh, storage array. Uh, which I do have automatically put, pumping stuff in now. Uh, I have this, everything comes into this chest. Uh, this just sucks it out and everything is wired back here and it just distributes everything in the right slots for the most part. And I put uh, compacting drawers up here for all the ingots and stuff like that. And eventually we'll get enough gold to actually do something. Not yet. <laughs> we need, I, I need uh, one gold uh, block and seven ingots to make something. I can't remember what it was, but it was something I was trying to make to get jump ahead. So we're waiting on that. We're going to go do some mining once we get our swimsuit and scuba gear set up. So here we go. Let's go ahead and start this. We have... A lot of stuff going on. Uh, I don't need that, that, or that. We're going to make the empty blaze burner, so we need steel plates. So three of those. Do I still have a hammer? I went through like two or three hammers prepping for everything. And we don't... doesn't look like we have a hammer anymore. That one's pretty much broken. Ah, uh, there's some wire cutters, though. Let's make a, a new hammer. So we can just cheat and go like that. So we'll take this one, put it with a steel, go like that. We got three of them out of there. That's all we needed, too. So one down per. Uh, now we need steel fences, which is steel rods. So let's make two of those. Like so. And um, voila, we have the empty blaze burner. So this is going to be important. We have to go catch a blaze with it at some point in time. All right, now we need treated sticks. Uh, we have a bunch of treated stuff, so let's do that. Treated sticks gives us a tool handle. I think we needed two of those. 
Uh, we need more. What are we missing here? We need more sticks. Let's do like four of those, like so. And uh, that, that. Just make them all. I don't really. Doesn't really bother me. There we go. We got an extra one of those, and we need another stick. Oh my gosh. There we go. And voila. Two sticks. And we need clay. So let's go over here and grab some clay real quick. So I should have a lot of it at this point. I have uh, six stacks. So that's nice. Uh, let's grab actually two stacks of this. I think mathematically, that's what we need. Maybe just a little less. We need to make 24 of these blocks, I believe. So that's right, right? Yeah, 24. All right, so let's go like that. Ah, well, we made quite a bit more. It's fine. We need them all. Uh, so there we go. Now we need more steel. I should have more steel over here pre-cached, but I guess I didn't. I guess I threw her. I was throwing everything in this uh, these chests to uh, kind of save some time. So we have 186. It's... There we go. So we can go back here. We need a bucket. Let's make another bucket. I don't know where my other ones are. There we go. We got a tank valve. So that completes the tool handle. Gives us another key fragment. We get a diamond chisel. Uh, we get 16 framed glass, which we can make some nice decorative tanks if we want. I'm not really concerned about that. And we got an overworld cake. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the next one. It's a storage terminal. So we need four framed glass and eight of these. So let's grab eight of these. And I should have some framed glass pre-made. Plus, we just got some. So there we go. All right, let's go try out this uh, crafting thing. Hopefully, I did this right. So the recipe is four in the middle and then surround it. All right. So we can just do this one, right? Like that. There we go. Push the button. And that should have worked. <laughs> Let's see if it works. It looks like it put little covers on everything, so. There we go. It's just really, really slow. I don't have a lot of rotation power on this thing, but uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm not too concerned. I'm never going to... Well, I, I say that now. I'm never going to automate this uh, contraption, but who knows what we'll have to do to uh, move forward. I just found it uh, overly tedious to use sometimes. All right, there is a storage terminal, and we need to make this, which is eight and four. Let's go grab those real quick. Uh, eight and four, and then just pushing that button uh, overrides all the empty ones and forces it to combine. So one, two, three, four. Just leave two there. There we go. Should have grabbed those originally, but I didn't even think about it. All right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Let's let that combine while we uh, go try this out. Uh, maybe I can place it right here. It does not read those uh, drawers over there. So let's put it like right here. It doesn't read any of those drawers. All right, let me look at the uh, the diagram for this thing here. So it gives us more pipes. Simple stores allow you to access chests, okay. So it shows it in between some chests. It might not work with drawers. Or maybe it has to be connected to a chest. Let's get a chest. 
like I can probably put it right here on this one, right? I think right here. And I can see everything inside that. That makes sense. Uh, do I have a chest easily available? Nope, but I can make one. All right, there we go. Let's put that like right there, right? And that like that. What's that say? Weird. I don't know. That is not, uh... It doesn't work the way I thought it would, so that's the uh, disappointing. Let's try this. Maybe it has to have this uh, connector block. Oh, let's go back over there. Maybe it has to have the connector block. Let's try one more thing before we uh, totally abandon it. We're going to have to get to AE2 as fast as possible. Now, let's see this. Did you hear that? There it is, right there. There's this wizard thing that always spawns on me. There we go. Like, they spawn on me all the time. This place is lit up. I cannot find anywhere that is not lit. And uh, it is just so weird. All right, so we have inventory trim now. This should allow us to... Uh, all right, let's put it, like, right here. Put this right here. So let's find something. We got mesh in the top one. Yeah, mesh in top, buckets on bottom. Do we see both? We see the mesh. And we see the buckets. So let's go over here to the drawers. And let's just pop it down right there. And there we go. So it needs one of these uh, inventory trim to work. Now, interesting, can I put that right there? And can it see the ones that are connected via the pipe? No, I can't. I can dream, right? So if we put this right here, so do we, can we see the fish poo? Yes, we can. Can we see the bricks? Okay, we cannot see the bricks. So let's go over here. I know there's a gap in the back of this area right here. Let's connect those two. And I don't see them. Do we see glass? There might be like a range on this, right? No, we see the glass. Do we see the blue dye? Oh, it sees all those as, as, uh, as that. That probably breaks things. Uh, I don't see the dye. Ah, let's go over here. Yeah, I don't even know how I would uh, get those to connect. If I take this out. Come on. There we go. Uh, let's put it like right here. There, that should... That should connect them, right? It's overly connected. <laughs> So, um, blue, brick. All right. Well, I guess what I'll do is I'll put another terminal over there, uh, later on and that'll, that'll work. I might, I might be doing something wrong though. It's not, I've never used this system before. So let's drop all this off cause uh, we don't need any of that anymore. All right, so we got all that done. So to get the prismarine, we have to pretty much go in, uh, go in the water and uh, go hunt for that. But to go in the water, we need a sea moth, and we need a scuba suit, and we need an airplane because that's the thing. There are airplanes. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's make the sea moth sea moth frame. 
Let's make uh, this stuff is. Let's make these electrical engines. Let's make the sea moth. Let's go ahead and get some Envar cloth going. Let's get the diving mask and the diving tank. We're gonna have to make some Envar. All right, let's go. Let's get started with with this. I think this is gonna be uh, quite a bit. So we need steel scaffolding and a gray seat. So let's go get some steel. I suspect we're going to need a bunch. All right, let's take a stack. I don't want to take the other one out because it'll just mess up my... I don't have the key to lock the drawers, so... All right, steel scaffolding. How many did we need here? For this frame or seven so we need seven of these which requires eight rods so let's do that one two three four five six seven eight there we go let's turn that we got our eight of those gray seat what does this require this requires gray wool Spruce slab plus gray wool. All right. I know I have gray dye because I ground up uh, something to make it. There's some more steel though. There we go. There's the gray dye. We just need some wool. So let's go over here. I'll just try our handy dandy little thing right here and see if we can actually find a string. Got a stack of string. I think we only need one, right? Nope. <laughs> uh, I think we have to use this combiner thing here. So it's four string, I believe, to make uh, to make a piece of wool. There we go. Should be done. There it is. Right, like so. We get the gray wool. Gray wool plus a slab equals a gray seat. And that is framed glass. We have a bunch of that right here. One, two, three. All right, that is done. Let's go get that going in the uh, machine over here. So that is line, that, that, that. All right, pretty, pretty simple. So four. And then three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. That's right, I hope. Seat goes there. Glass goes there. We push the button. And the magic happens. All right, that should be done. What is this? This is some of that. All right, that's easy enough. Let's make a detour over here. Let's grab some planks. Go right. Where is it? I should have a tank of curious oil. There we go. Like so. Surround that. Make that. So now we need. Uh, let's make eight of these. I mean, is it one is to make? Oh, we can't unlock it until we loot, uh, loot the other thing. All right, that should, the frame should be done anyway. There we go. All right, what is next on our list? So we got a cream, uh, fruit cream festival bread. Uh, we got some coins. Now we need to make that. Let's uh, make some room here. Oh yeah, and uh, we had made we'd gotten this key. I want to go ahead and. Uh, oh, we got some free loot. Look at that. <laughs> what is that? Cursed heart. Difficulty plus ten. Oh jeez. Free uh, fish. 
deal with that later. We got that, 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 and that. Now we need this, which is pistons, which we need cobblestone. And I found a way to get a lot of cobblestone using the crusher. You just put andesite in there and you get cobblestone. Or not, yeah, andesite. There it goes, make a... Uh, uh, we need four of these, so we're going to need uh, a bunch. What is that missing? Redstone? There we go. Let's grab a stack of redstone. That is going to be so much more convenient. Too bad they all don't link up. Uh, but that is, I guess, fine. It's life, right? So I think we need four of these things. So let's make... Could we make more than one? What are we missing? <laughs> Of course, we're missing planks. There we go. We got a bunch of these now. Oh, we need flint. I have not used flint once in this pack. I'm surprised they even keep it around. All right. And while I'm here, we need... Lead. Like so, which is uh, copper coil and redstone wire. I have some of that over here. Stone wire, copper coil, copper wire should be good there. So we can make our flint and steel. Make our copper coil block. Actually, let's make uh, three more of these. So I think we need four of these things for the quest. Right? Yeah, we need four. So <laughs> let's make some more of those. Uh, this, I only grabbed one flint because obviously I didn't think ahead. So let's go here. One, two, three. There we go. And so far this pack is not very uh, intensive. Like, uh, like I usually give up on packs when they, uh, if I spend 24 hours sitting in game doing nothing because I can't advance anything because I'm waiting on resources to generate, I usually just stop. And that's why I, <laughs> that's why I give up on a lot of packs. Uh, but there we go. So that is three, three, one, two. Okay, we can do that. We have all those materials, two of those, one of those, I think it's six, right? Six, eight of those, two of those, okay, perfect. Where is our little crafter? Over here. Oh, we can just do it right there. But engines on each side, like so, and push the button. There, that should give us a sea moth. While that's going, we need Invar Blend, which is crushed nickel plus iron dust. So, to make iron dust, you put it in the crushing wheel and you get iron dust. I already did a bunch because it takes a little bit of time to uh to do its thing so here we go uh now we need crushed nickel which is the unrefined version of nickel let's go and grab a stack of that looks like my uh, furnace has stopped because it's out of fuel so let's uh, get some fuel for it real quick over here let's get three stacks of wood and we'll just throw wood in there uh wood seems to be the best i tried using this iron furnace inside this contraption and it won't doesn't work you can't add the uh furnace engine on top of that so it's okay there we go four more stacks of that four more stacks of that this will pretty much have it going for an hour or two so that works 
and uh, we need to go over here. I'm gonna have to get. I need to automate a way to put uh put this stuff in. So what was the Invar blend? Uh, two to one. Okay, so one two two one two one two one two kind of manual uh i don't know if a uh i don't know if a better way to uh do this at the moment without like setting up full create automation it's probably something we should do there that's probably way more than what it can process so if we come over here there's 16 of that. So we need to take that plus a bolt of linen. Uh, so let's go get some silk. Put all that stuff processed down. Uh, let's go actually grab our sea moth before we go over back over here. There we go. And we get a reward chest for this one, I believe. Which gave us uh, a gemstone block. Potion tipped diamond bolt and a rarium raritarium boots. Alright, let's put those boots on. They were made for walking, I guess. And uh Yeah. So that'll be uh <laughs> that'll be where we're, where we're heading next, right? We're gonna get get to the water eventually, so let's just pop all that in there. Um let's see here. How can we? There's one. There's two. And we have some string on. So. Oh man, we need a bunch of sticks. So let's just turn all of this into sticks. And uh, make as much of that as we can. And then go here and make a bunch of these as we can. Nine. Let's look at the recipes here real quick. So the diving mask takes three. Tank takes zero. Pants take six, seven. That is not enough. And let's get some more. Uh, I think I have some treated planks over here. Let's grab those. Kind of low on string. Actually, what did I do? What did I just do? I just threw them back in there. Um, I just want to throw one back in so it holds its spot in the line over there until I can lock the lock everything. All right, do that and that. Oh, good. I thought I clicked on the wrong thing there for a second. go seven more of those what is our hold up now string is our our missing item right there we go a little bit more uh soon we'll be able to make hydroponic plants uh that we can put down on the ocean floor and we can plant these uh spider trees which grow silk so that'll be a thing we can do soon but uh, i guess not right now so to make this bolt we need 14 of these do we even have uh 14 of that? No, we don't. Do I have more silk somewhere else? There's four more silk. I mean, we can't even complete the quest with 14. Without 14. Um, I really don't want to annually do, <laughs> annually do trees real quick. Uh, actually, what I'll do, uh, since we're out of resources now, right? Um, we are going to call this episode here and uh next episode we'll finish up finish up making our wetsuit and uh getting getting ready to go down to uh to the bottom of the ocean right and uh that's where we're gonna head get you know start doing some uh mining down there i guess because that's apparently what we're supposed to be doing is <laughs> is going down there to mine and uh just trying to get this copper coil block knocked out. Um, that's really where we're going to have to end up with this. 
Do I not have any more copper coils? I do. I want to make this real quick so I can get that knocked off. Copper coil. There we go. I don't know why it has these uh, quests right here. But it does. Now we need a redstone block. Oh, come on, really? There we go. Another tin coin. And we can buy things with the coins. Uh, we probably will. Can I make that? I don't have a hammer. Anyway, yeah. So next episode, I'll have enough silk to complete the uh, wetsuit. And uh, we'll go from there. But uh, thank you very much for watching. And have a fantastic day.